Riot has announced changes to the LCS broadcast schedule that have some fans believing it is the final nail in the coffin for an already declining viewership base. At the same time, Valorant in the VCT broadcast schedule looks a lot like the primetime slot the LCS used to have. No parent's supposed to have a favorite child, but did Riot just reveal theirs? Hey y'all, it's Liz. Just a reminder that we still have merch available with a link in the description below. Personally, y'all know I love the cream hoodie, but also I love everything else. I don't have a favorite child. I'm not like Riot. Riot Games, small indie company, mostly known for their flagship title, League of Legends. You might have heard of it. You might have seen us, including yours truly, attend Worlds this year. You know, just one of the biggest esports events in the world. Here, let's play a game. Name your top three esports professionals. I am willing to bet in your top three, you included Faker, League of Legends, legend. The point I am trying to make, and honestly, I don't think I have to make it, is that League of Legends is one of the biggest esports in the world. The esport has created the best matches, memories, and players for literally millions of people. But there has been discussion that the LCS, or the North American circuit of League of Legends, is dying. As Sabrina on for early game wrote, sure, the play wasn't always top tier, with teams like TSM barely making it out of groups at international events, but at least the region had personality and charm, which led people to tune in and watch the season again. But it seems that there are less and less viewers each split. There was a report in October that Riot would be moving LCS broadcasts to weekdays instead of the weekends, like they had been. But the most important thing is that we didn't know the times of broadcast until December. In December 2022, Riot officially announced that they would be revamping their broadcast schedule to better serve fans. Hold on to the better serve fans part because people have thoughts on that. They announced that the LCS Arena is being renamed to the Riot Games Arena and that beginning with Spring Split 2023, the LCS will shift its primary broadcast days to Thursdays and Fridays starting at 3 p.m. Eastern or noon for all you West Coast folk. The VCT Americas, on the other hand, will be Saturday, Sunday, Monday starting at noon PST, aka 3 p.m. for us East Coasters. If this doesn't sound like a big deal to you, the LCS has always held the prime time slot, aka weekend afternoons, evenings. Now the VCT Americas has that. Now why would Riot make such a decision? It wasn't that long ago that saying the LCS is dying was a blasphemous statement. Now you have famous league personalities like Double Lift saying that verbatim. Look guys, LCS is dying. Like the viewership is absolutely dying. It's there's no there's no denying it. Everyone knows it. Everyone can feel it. According to Riot, this move needed to happen for a variety of reasons. They say that a deep dive they commissioned confirmed for them that, among other things, peak viewing times move to match the changing lifestyles for our fans, and that moving the broadcast to weekdays would bring more fans in. They explain that they came to this conclusion by disclosing their findings. First, that fans follow games rather than regions. So like a league fan from North America would rather watch the LEC rather than VCT Europe. Next, they discover that fans want to watch big matches and their favorite teams. So Danny Burke of the Score Esports is there for TSM and whatever juicy matchup there is. Perhaps Double Lift's return to pro play. Lastly, they say they want to pace their broadcasts because fans were fatigued after a full day of League of Legends esports, a demand for content that is equal for the weekdays and weekends, and picking what to watch can be a chore. I'm not sure why that last one is literally our fans have to make decisions sometimes, but not my article. But if you look at some responses from parts of the community, some fans really don't agree. You guys keep reaffirming and reassuring people that that weekdays are good, but that's not the change anyone has a problem with. It's the time it's at. Start it later, not at noon PT. In my opinion, weekdays are totally fine, but the time slot seems ill-suited for a North American audience. I've watched nearly every game of LCS for the past four years. I'm going to struggle when the start is in the middle of the work day. Maybe I'm not the target audience anymore. There were also concerns that not only is Riot making the LCS pretty inaccessible for fans, but they're also playing favorites by giving their weekend primetime slot to none other than their sister product, Valorant. Basically, a lot of people said that while weekdays are fine, a lot of people don't have the time to watch competitive League of Legends in the middle of the day. If there are concerns that the LCS needs better viewership, I completely understand. If you look at the viewership, it is not an unreasonable thing to say. The peak viewers, average viewers, and hours watch have had a noticeable decrease from summer 2020 to summer 2022, with pretty much the exact same airtime. Whether that is hyperbolic or not, a lot of people feel that having your broadcast at the same time as their work schedule or their school schedule is not exactly going to do wonders for declining viewership. It just doesn't seem like the right move. But those same fans 
can watch Valorant because most of them don't have work or school. So a new seemingly inaccessible time and another show that got the prime time slot. If you're an LCS fan seeing all this, I'm not surprised at all by your disappointment or anger. I watch professional wrestling on the weeknights, right? If AEW Dynamite airs at 3 p.m., I probably couldn't watch it. I wouldn't watch it, not even for Kenny Omega. But for Konosuke Takeshita, I will drop everything to get that man some Cinnabon after work when I have time. In my opinion, as your average VCT consumer, is that this doesn't feel right. Like, okay, me as a Valorant fan, if Valorant's on the weekends, that reads to me that the data shows that that's our best block. Cool, whatever. Riot claiming that the data for the LCS shows that the best time is for weekdays and midday, but for the VCT, it's weekends, afternoons, just seems wrong. Listen, I don't have the numbers. I didn't commission the deep dive or whatever, but we can't be that different in our consumption habits. We're all anti-social nerds at the end of the day. Also to the point that Riot is picking Valorant as their favorite esports product, I have to disagree. Would Riot, a business that has to make money, make a decision that would make the LCS have less exposure, less success, less money on purpose? Like they have no reason to not want the LCS to thrive. Like I genuinely believe that Riot believes that this is the move to breathe life back into the LCS. I'm not saying it's the correct move. I'm just saying I can't get behind the idea of favoritism in one of their biggest esports. Travis Gafford echoed similar sentiments in his YouTube video about this. I don't I don't know how else to say it, but Riot has a lot of incentives to keep LCS alive. They don't have any incentives for this thing to die. So like as much and, as, and again, I don't blame you because they've done not a great job of dissuading people from this, but please, please trust me when I say that like they want LCS to thrive, they want it to grow, they want to restore it to the prestige that it used to have. Travis also talked about the lack of trust the LCS fans have in Riot, and if you are a fan and you feel like you are an afterthought or just not being cared for, then yeah, I completely get it. If you're confused, join the party and pull up a chair. We have lots of snacks and anxiety over here. My question today is for the LCS fans in the audience. Are you watching the spring split? Can you watch it? Do you feel like an afterthought? I mean this with all sincerity. I hope you can watch it in the most comfortable way possible. Listen, if this, if Konosuke Takeshita sees this, I need to look my best, okay? Bro, who's got you smiling like that? It's Konosuke. No, I have to like speak to him at the end board. I have to be like, hey Konosuke, you're wrestling tonight. I don't remember if it's live. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. I'll get you some Cinnabon. Let me know. I'm so smooth. <laughs> Is it hot? It's really hot. <laughs>